Hello everybody, this is Argon Matrix, welcome to episode 81 of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And I am standing in front of the gate right now that I told you led to the desert. You can't see it because there's a big metal bar on the way, but you can see it slightly back there. It's, it's like all sandy and stuff. Just like most deserts, save for the Antarctic desert I suppose. Anyway, so we have to open that gate now. How are we going to do that? We're going to ask politely. That's right, we're just going to go up here and ask politely for them to open the gate. Let's see. Can you open the gate pretty, pretty please with your the metal bar in the way? Hey, rookie. Are you going into the desert? I'll open this gate for you, but... You can't cross the desert unless you pass the two trials. The first trial is the River of Sand. You can't walk across this river. After you cross it, follow the flags what we place there. The second trial is the Phantom Guide. Those without eyes can see the truth. Oh, well... Those with the eyes that can see the truth will only find themselves returning here. You are going any you're going anyway, aren't you? I won't stop you. Go ahead. And Oh my god, epic camera angles for the win. Look at that one person just standing there, like, dude, I have no idea what's going on. I'm totally acid tripping, man. Rock on. And this permits us access to the awesome, magnificent beautiful and very very annoying and kind of easy actually haunted wasteland if it, wait what does that say what does that say if you chase a mirage the desert will swallow you only one path is true yep so the haunted wasteland i.e gerudo desert oh my god haunted wasteland for the win so here's the river of sand if you couldn't tell it's a river made of sand if you walk if you try to walk across it you'll sink so the logical thing to do, use your hookshot. Just hookshot right across. It's really that simple. Look at that. Um, if I remember, there should be a guy around here somewhere. Um, do is he around here? I'm not sure. Is he this way? Oh, da oh no, no, no! I got absorbed by the desert. Owie! I took one heart of damage. I guess he's not there. Um, well, there's a guy. I've never actually met him myself. I've seen him on other videos and stuff. But he's a guy. He, like, he's a guy on a magic carpet or something. He, like, sells you bomb shoes, I think. He's around here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Maybe he's up ahead more. I don't know. But he'll sell you bomb shoes. And if you don't have bomb shoes already, you want to buy... Oh, wait, what? No. All those reckless enough to venture into the desert, please drop by our shop. Carpet merchant. Yes, this is the way. All right. And over here, there's a hidden area, kind of. See, look at this. Awesome. Let's get on the magic carpet ride. Ow. Dude, that's not a very good place to have a shop. I'm telling you right now. Anyways, how many bomb shoes do I even have? Ten? That's enough. Because, yeah, you're gonna need bomb shoes at certain points later in the game. I believe there's two points that is necessary to have bomb shoes. So, yeah. And since they never really give you bomb shoes in the game, with, like, outside of optional side quests uh... you're on your own for that anyways um... basically you want to follow the flags um... where the flags are yes there's one up there uh... you can play the song of storms if you want like N nintendo capri sun did to make and the lightning will make the flags extremely visible but uh... it's not really too hard to spot them without without the lightning helping See, like, I'm not really having much trouble here. Um. Um. Oh, there it is. Yeah, sometimes you have to wander a little bit past the flag in order to find the next one. Alright, um. Flag, please. Flag, please. Don't flag this video, please. Oh, there it is. I see it. Or else I'm just going backwards. I don't know. There, there we go. Yeah, when you see those two flags, you know that to go between, you have to go between them, and you'll arrive here. This little outpost, I guess. Let's fall down! Yay! Oh, a Skulltula. That's a lovely sight. Anyways, let's grab a token here, which will put us up to... I'm not sure. Let's check. Um, 90! Oh my god. How awesome. 90 freaking Skulltulas. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? I think that's actually the only Skulltula in the Haunted Wasteland, though. Um, there's more Skulltulas in the 
desert area, I guess you'd say, but not in the haunted wasteland. Um, what just happened? Oh, a chest? Okay. I didn't think it would appear there. I thought it would appear on the freaking pedestal. And I can hold these 50 rupees this time, thanks to my awesome failures in the last video with Garuda Archery. Fairy, please. Fine, disappear into the wall. I don't like you any- Oh, please, please, heal me, heal me. Heal my two hearts of damage. Thank you. Deku nuts? Did I, did I seriously just pick up Deku nuts in the middle of an outpost in the middle of the desert? Anyways, let's just climb up here and oh my god, we're climbing on total blackness now. I hope this is the thumbnail for this video. Just me climbing in total empty darkness. That would be epic. You'd be like, oh my god, where is he? So let's just climb to the top of this outpost since it's the only logical thing to do. Um, let's check it. One with the Eye of Truth shall be guided to the Spirit Temple by an inviting ghost. So, what could that possibly mean? Could that mean we need bomb shoes? No, the Megaton Hammer. I can use that as, like, binoculars or something. Maybe the mask? I don't know. No. Let's just stop kidding around. It's the Lens of Truth. And you use it here, and... Oh my god, it's a Poe! I'll be your guide on the way, but coming back, I won't play. I'll show you the only way to go, so follow me, and don't be slow. Oh, you and your rhyming. You wouldn't have any relation to Grunty, Gruntilda, the witch, would you? Anyway, so yeah, you pretty much just want to follow this guy exactly. Don't stray off his path too, too much. Otherwise, you will definitely succumb to the desert. You don't actually need to follow this guy. Like, you don't need Lens of Truth to do this. But unless you've actually, like, really memorized this path well, then I would recommend, I would highly recommend using this. All right, let's go, dude. I see the flags out there. But I'm, I'm just gonna keep following you because I remember like one time I tried going up to those flags that I saw and it swallowed the desert swallowed me. So I'm not gonna try that again. By the way, I hate those freaking green things that are coming out of the sand. I think they're called like levers or something. I'm not sure. Lemurs, the aquatic mammal. Oh, uh, it's an inside joke. You wouldn't get it. But anyways, yep. Now we can go to these two flags. Ray. Thank you, Poe the Ghost. And, oh, did I get swallowed? Please no. Oh, no, I didn't. We just arrived at... 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 The Desert Colossus. I love that word, Colossus. It's just such a big and awesome word, you know? It's like, oh my god, Colossus. Colossus. Anyways, first things first, let's go get the great fairy that's here. Behind this cracked wall over here. Yes, there is actually a great fairy out in the desert. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? So just drop a bomb right there. And watch it go boom! Ow. Freaking crow. Stupid you and your big carrot-like beak. Anyways. So, yep, we're here. Let's play Zelda's Lullaby. Yeah, boy. Do 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 maybe I'll use this to sync the video. And that was really off in syllables. But here's the great fairy. And I need to take a drink of coke, I'm sorry. Oh man. Ah Okay. Welcome Harlow, I'm the Great Fairy Magic. I'll give you a magic spell. Please take it. I refuse to take your magic, you ugly fairy. Why? No! No! Please! No! Fine. Oh my god, you healed me. Yay. You got Nairu's love. Cast this to create a protective... Create a powerful protective barrier. It's defensive magic you can use with C. Sweet. Nairu's love is effective. It is effective only a limited time, so use it carefully. Oh my god, zoom in on your face much? When battles make you weird, it's come back to see me. Hells no, I'm not coming back to the no desert to see a great fairy heal me. But anyways, Nairus Love, um, it's the third of the god spell goddess spells rather here. And as you can see with by the MP12, it takes up a lot of magic power. I believe half of your improved magic magic meter. And basically it creates a barrier that makes you invincible for a short period of time. 
So yeah. That's cool, I guess. Um, uh, we got some sculptures to get here. Actually, only one that I can think of. Wait. Yeah, only one that I can think of that we can actually get right at this moment, but there is another one that we can't quite get yet. And, ooh, oh yeah, I, for, I should show this. Um, While I'm here, well, first, we're going to play the Song of Storms. Well, on top of this rock, if you play the Song of Storms, something really totally freaking awesome will happen. Watch this. Oh my god, it's an oasis. I'm filling it up. Hallelujah, sweet Jesus. Oh my god. And you get, like, freaking six fairies to appear from that. How awesome. And just as nighttime dawns, watch as this sculpture that magically appears. Just watch it. No, damn it. Just watch. I said just watch. Fine. I'll kill these things. Now screw them. Look, there's Deku nuts in the tree. There it is. Ow. Well, at least they didn't knock me up before I got to show you the awesome appearing Sculptula. Dude, I'm just trying to get this Sculptula. Is that too much to ask? Thank you. Oh, cool. That was awesome. Whatever. Anyways, let's just keep on progressing here. I feel like I forgot something back there. No, I didn't. Die! That's right. You give me your arrows. Roar. Anyways, ooh, it looks like we're approaching 12 minutes here. We might... We'll probably go through this little cutscene... Ick. Cutscene-ish thing here. And then be done with this video. So, let's wander on in here. What is... What could this be? This is the Spirit Temple. Oh my god. Oh my god! Thanks for the hearts, dudes. Um, there's these guys. Uh, you can't... Really, if you kill him, it won't really do anything. Oh my god. Freaking huge block, man. Dear god. Well, whatever. Let's just go over here and wander into this hole. But wait. You can't go into a, into a hole as big, awesome adult Link. Well, goddamn. What do these things say? It says, if you want to proceed to the past, you, sh you should return with the pure heart of a child. What? Um, okay. What about this one? If you sh if you want to travel to the future, you should return here with the power of silver from the past. So I have to come here with the heart of a child, get the power of silver, and then return here into the future to get further in? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Who knows, let's just leave this popsicle stand. Oh my god. What's this? Awesome camera angles for the win? <gasps> Boom! Oh my god. Who could this possibly be? Chic. None other. Past, present, future. The Master Sword is a ship with which you can sail upstream and downstream through river, through Times River. I wonder who that bird that would just flew through the f frame was. Hmm. The port for that ship is in the Temple of Time. To restore the Desert Colossus and enter the Spirit Temple, you must travel back through Time's flow. Listen to the Requiem of Spirit. This melody will lead a child back to the desert. Not just any child, you. And this 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 song is kind of ominous too. Kind of reminds me of the Nocturne Shadow. It's kind of spooky. So let's just play this in the minute that we have left. All right, there we go. And oh my God! Hey, what? You're what are you doing here? Oh my God! Is that really who I think it is? Like that that burr man? Could that be? No, there's no way. No, I must it must, it must be a mirage. Oh my god. I haven't seen that guy in forever. Well whatever. We've learned the requiem of spirit. Requiem, requiem, whatever you want to call it. And What do you want to do? Uh, oh no! awkward silence much anyways um that's going to be the end of this episode because i only have 15 seconds left here thank you everybody for watching this is argon matrix signing out thank you and good night